Hi, Peter here, and today a blog about the importance of staying open-minded in your meditation practice and your spiritual tradition, uh, which I think is so important. And I'm really interested in finding out about everyone's tradition and the lessons that they've learned, and I've learned so much from different people. Uh, not even necessarily out of religion, scientists and even nature can have so much to teach you. And uh, I guess this block comes on the back of a uh, email I got yesterday from the Vipassana meditation people. And I had applied uh, to go on a retreat with them as a student on, in a, a new place they were uh, opening up in uh, near the city where I live. They do a 10 day retreat and for those people that don't know about Vipassana, it's basically mindfulness of breathing and then mindfulness on the body, visualizing uh, white light purifying your body. So it's basically a mindfulness technique. And uh, I love the technique, I teach it to other people um, as well as uh, other great techniques that I've learned. And anyway, in this email, it basically said that um, uh, I wasn't allowed, they've rejected me from the retreat because I teach meditation. And they say that if you are teaching meditation, you should be happy in your practice and uh, that I'm not allowed on the retreat unless I discontinue all teaching of meditation. Um, so I find this a little myopic in their vision. In other words, uh, you are anyone who practices Vipassana must only practice Vipassana alone and uh, not teach as well. I assume the idea is that if anyone wanted to learn Vipassana, they should go to the Vipassana uh, retreats that are set up by the organization and shouldn't learn from other people. Which uh, I can understand, they, they might be thinking that they're, they're keeping the purity of the tradition alive, I don't know. Um, but realistically, I, I'm so against that kind of uh, philosophy because I think spiritual teachings should be open. And some of my greatest teachings have come from the least expected places. You know, I often tell the story about, you know, my two month old baby keeping me awake right through the night for months on end, uh, being one of my greatest teachers in patience and things like that. So you just never know where your uh, next lesson will come from. And to ban somebody and say, well, you're not allowed to come to my retreat unless you promise to give up all your faith in other things and only worship me and my retreat uh, is somewhat uh, not useful uh, in, this, in this society. So um, have a think about that and uh, I suggest that we should always be open to anyone's opinion, um, especially other traditions, uh, just because of the fact that there's so much knowledge out there in the world that we don't know about and you never know where uh, you might find that next piece of knowledge. And uh, no matter what tradition or background you come from, uh, I welcome you on our retreats. And I always say, if there's something that I can teach you which you practice and you find useful, use it. If not, just discard it and find something else. You know, I get that some of these traditions want to keep the purity of their tradition alive. And definitely for the time that you're on retreat, and I say this, for the time that you're on my retreat, just try the suggestions that I make. After all, you've paid the money, you've come, you've decided to spend the time. Give it a chance, but then if it doesn't work, just let it go. And uh, certainly uh, I don't want anyone being banned from my retreats. Uh, just because they don't practice exactly the way that I practice. So uh, that's my blog for the week and uh, I hope you uh, are enjoying whatever practice you're doing at home. And uh, until next time, this is Peter signing out.